Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is what we got today on the schedule for the trans agenda. Number one, we're converting all the kids to be transgenders. Number two, that's the only thing on the agenda. Get out there. Why aren't you out there? Why are you watching this video? Today I wanted to revisit trans TikTok because they're always really fun and my algorithm does give me some pretty good trans TikToks because, you know, well, uh, <clears throat> I might have a thing or two in common with transgender people. So figured we play a little roulette, check out all these different transgender TikToks and have some laughs, maybe have a cry. I feel like so many of us did this at any stage in our life. Does any of you have that stage in your life where you try to overcompensate for those feelings of transness and dysphoria? I tried everything to be, uh, this gives me dysphoria coming out of my mouth. I tried everything to be a girl. Tried putting on makeup and stuff, tried wearing like feminine clothing, just couldn't. I hated every second of it. I looked and felt like white chicks. You know how awkward they look? That it was me in middle school. But you don't look gay. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just... Is it shameful to say that I do like the compliment? Because, well, it's not really a compliment. It really depends, you know what I'm saying? But it's st like, I still thank you for saying that. But what do, you, what do you mean I don't look trans? Do you want me to sit like this or something? <laughs> I mean, hey, I can tell you that right now. They are pissing their pants. They want that beard. That looks so good. What I did looked really bad. <laughs> Don't do what I did. I took an, took an eyeliner pencil straight to the eyebrows before T, because I don't have them like this. Don't fill them in if you don't know what you're doing. Looks very obvious. All I felt was pain. All I'm feeling is pain. I mean, it's true. Hey, look, I'm wearing eggplant too. Kind of. Kind of matches the TikTok. OJ like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. Okay. So dumb. Like, <laughs> what do you want me to say to that? Okay. Also, how do you know that we would date you? Hmm? Are we just going to date anybody that gives us any type of attention at all? I swear people think trans people are so desperate to date people. Hold on. Wait a goddamn minute. Wait a Goddamn motherfuck! Oh shit! See, I forget that I'm trans all of the time. I consistently forget, and then I'm reminded, and then I'm upset. It's a constant cycle. Does anybody else go through it? No, but before surgery, like you'll genuinely forget, and it's not—it's not fun. That's even worse when you're reminded. You know what, dude? Just throw on a hoodie and a jacket. If it's winter time, fuck it. Don't take off that jacket at all. I can't talk right now. I'm doing trans guy shit. Yeah, I want you guys to know that cis men also have hips. By the way, I know that obviously like you, you feel a little bit worse about it or a lot more worse about it when you're trans because you're you're conscious about it. Um, and women as well. Not every woman has curves or hips like that too. So it just depends on the person, but uh, doesn't make it feel any less worse, I guess. So there's only so many things my words can do. Keep looking in the mirror and doing that, friend, because <laughs> I know you do. Don't lie to me. Look at me in my eyes right now. Yeah. That 
That's a good one. I honestly think we should all start wearing pieces of paper in our pants with some funny saying on it. Anytime someone says, but what's in your pants though? Or like, do you have the surgery? Just take out the piece of paper and put on whatever you want it to say. A joke I recently thought of was because people always like to ask, how do you have sex as a trans person? All you just have to reply to that is say, ask your mom, like we're in middle school and it'll probably get a lot of people angry at you. So it's, I think it's pretty useful, pretty funny. Like we're throwing it back to 07. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. See, this is funny because men's bathrooms will have 10 urinals and two stalls. One of the stalls will have the door ripped open and the other one someone will be having diarrhea in. So what are your options? No, this shit just got a little too real. That is definitely how it feels, especially that first picture that first picture. That was like a five second TikTok, but it really hit me. This is whenever I try to describe what gender dysphoria feels like to somebody and I can never put it in words. Those images are perfect. I always say it feels like you're drowning. So this guy had bottom surgery. If anybody's wondering, that's where the little comment comes from. It's funny because uneducated people always do the work for you. Like what makes you think that it would be one inch long? If you take a look at the scar, I took half of my forearm away. You think that's one inch? I mean, your one inch must be big, which is not a bad thing for some people if you think an inch is that big. That is an insane transformation. It's fucking crazy. Those don't look like the same two people. This dude could crush an egg with his bicep. I'm not on that level yet. I hide under my hoodies because I'm so muscular. Uh, I can't crush an egg yet, but maybe, maybe in four years I will be able to. Because my cisgender roommate actually took the time to question her gender, and come to the conclusion that she is definitely a cisgender woman. Uh, we, the non-binary people in her life, have decided to give her a verified blue check mark on her gender. So I think I think more people should do this. Get 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 your gender verified. That's a that's a good one. We should all just start having our own blue check marks. Like sit down and think about your gender for a second. I know that's hard for a lot of people, <laughs> uh, especially the ones who follow me. Just kidding. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. The masculine urge to do this. The feminine urge to do that. I have the non-binary urge to jump out a window. So I have a question about this. Does every non-binary person have an urge to jump out the window? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Honestly, I think everybody should be keeping a lightsaber in their bathroom specifically for this occasion because some people do need it. So if you're seeing this, you're probably some flavor of the rainbow. Um, so you probably already know this, but for the few people who, who are out there who don't, here's a PSA. Estrogen does not change a trans woman's voice. Trans masculine people who take testosterone have the potential for their voice to deepen. Not so for trans feminine people and estrogen. We have to voice train. I don't wake up every morning and sound like this. I have to warm up, I have to do my exercises, and this is after months of training where I feel comfortable using this voice. This is my normal voice. This is around where I wake up with. Um, and actually, it's kind of uncomfortable to talk down here because I'm so used to talking in my normal voice. Um, but after months of training and looking at different resources online and um, finally getting comfortable after doing all the exercises, this is where I normally sit. I sang bass too, or sometimes baritone in choir, like, just because you have a low voice does not mean you cannot have a feminine voice if you're a trans feminine person. So if you know a trans woman who has a really good voice, compliment them on that. Pat them on the back. 
that shit is hard. That has always been so impressive to me because I knew this about trans women and stuff because you're, I mean, once your voice reaches like low like this, you can't get it. It's not going to go back up. Like estrogen isn't going to reverse your voice the way that testosterone does. I used to make my voice lower before T. That took like my own type of voice training too to make it lower. So I'm figuring the same thing to make your voice higher, right? And it's just, it's a lot of effort and a lot of time. But eventually you get used to speaking that way. So uh, yeah, props to all of you out there. That shit is not easy. Don't you dare disobey me, Coraline! Ah! I mean, the TikTok speaks for itself. What does that look like now? What is he supposed to say now? Uh... This is my husband, and if you don't like it, leave and don't even look at it because he was very handsome. I mean, this is just a cute TikTok. I wanted to show it to you. The audio and everything. It's, I love it. I mean, honestly, we would get that shit done fast. Five minute crafts, DIY. If you're trans, you put us in that shit. We'll get it done fast. It might not look good. And I don't know who's going to win because that's a complete gamble. But uh, <laughs> it'll be done fast. I can guarantee it. Remind me of your gender again. All right. You're a These are for girls only. So why don't they have this as a gender option on checklists? You know how they have man or woman? They should just have as an option as well. I mean, come on, we've got a sound for it now. Because we're the trans community, remember? We like to create our own little words and our own little sounds to refer to ourselves. I don't know, I think the second one is each of your styles because in the first outfit, person on the left doesn't look like a fan of that outfit. Just what I'm picking up. So, I don't know, could be wrong though. Excuse me, the men's restrooms are over there. Oh, oh sorry, I thought you were- Sorry, what? Oh, the men's oh. restrooms- Over well, there? My bad. No, wait, um, ma'am, sir, ma'am? See, this is why you mind your own business. Uh, that would be such an awkward... Why would you ever say that to somebody? And I know that people actually say that to people. It's really weird. I hope that everybody who has ever put a trans person in that awkward situation has felt like an idiot after it. Hi, I'm Gabriel. Well, I used to be Gabriel. Now I'm Gabriel. And my life is, well, unbelievable. I mean, there's no lie there. This kind of reminds me of a Bob's Burgers episode though, because they love puns. I mean, Bob's Burgers loves their puns. It's a little pun believable. It's a little bun believable. Oh no, it's all right, thanks. He's helping me. They. Oh yeah, he's just gone to go and get me. They. I can't remember who served us. I think it was him. I mean, you've got to be oblivious to not notice those earrings. That's like when you also wear a name tag that says your pronoun, so people will go out of the way on purpose to like not use them just to be an asshole. So this is the last TikTok that I have to share with you, and it's got to be my favorite. I want to buy this song 100 times on iTunes. What the fuck is it called? <laughs> if that shit came on when I was at a concert, done deal. I'd be on the stage. I'd be singing trans people are my friends. I would sing that shit with my chest, with my mutilated chest. <laughs> yeah, anyways, with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed today's trans TikTok adventure. If you want to follow me on TikTok, that's my TikTok right there at it's Sam Collins. I post things that are funny sometimes. Yeah, with all that being said, I will see all of you guys very soon. All right. Bye.